How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbine Gaming. Welcome back to the next episode of the Let's Play Dragon Fable series and today let's go through the Tournament of Champions Part 2. So we'll go through the normal mode. So we already cleared the first part and I think today we will be fighting Fang Blade. Oh, I don't know how to thank you. Hey there, are you okay? I'll be fine. Looks like you're hurt pretty badly. Our medical team should take a look at you. What? All she got was a kick? Are you kidding me? How do you get this far if a kick was able to wound you that badly? Why didn't you guys do anything? She could have been killed. We have our orders. From who? A Cantus, I see. There's none of your concern. This tournament will continue by His Majesty's decree. Miss, you're welcome to join me up in the stands once you're ready. You can watch the rest of the tournament from there. That, that sounds perfect. Thank you. Oh, come on. All these nicks, bruises, and cuts from one kick? You gotta be kidding me. It's up to you now. I heard what you said back at the city's notice board. If anyone can convince the king about the roses wrongdoing, it'll be you. Sorry about that, folks. A minor mishap. But rest assured, contestant Felwyn is going to be just fine. And they are not going to disqualify Fang Blade? No? Okay. Now then, will contestant Melchior please come forward? The East Division finals are about to begin. <laughs> if you have time after the tournament, um, I have a message I was told to deliver to you. It's from you there. Contestant Felwyn, the physician wants to see you immediately. Ah, see you soon. I'll be rooting for you from the stands. Good luck. Let's do this. Alright. Now then, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Who will emerge victorious? Will let's play DF Strength prevail or will the champion defend his title once more? We're about to find out. Are you ready? Begin. Let's go. It's time I grind your bones into dust. We'll see about that, Mr. Fang Blade. And your dragon automatically gets removed. Okay. So what special ability does he have? Uh, nothing really, actually. Not seeing him do anything. So it's just a heavy meat shield. Okay. I uh, apologize if the game is running a little bit slower today. Like you're seeing it a little laggy. That's because I have a video rendering in the background. Uh, yeah, it's not really doing anything special though. Hmm. All the other contestants have some sort of mechanic that makes them hard. So uh, this guy is just a tanky... Yeah, he, he's just a tank, that's all. Doesn't really do a lot of damage either, that's the thing. Okay. Yeah, really nothing too special about him. He hits... I wouldn't say he hits super duper hard. Still manageable. Or does his damage slowly increase? I think his damage slowly increases or something. Okay. Uh, it doesn't sh say anything there, but I think he's doing a bit more damage, right? Yeah, he... Oh, okay, his damage increases. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, uh, we'll do line it here. Fang Blade's muscles are bulging. Yeah, this man... Okay, it doesn't say here, but I am pretty sure his damage slowly increases over time. It'd be good to try and stun him. Uh, uh, dirty trick. Yeah, you can just stun him. Yeah, he doesn't even have immobility resist, so it should be a piece of cake. Very very easy fight. Even without like a good class, I think you can still do it. All you have to do is stun him. Yeah, he just has a ton of health, that's so all. Nothing nothing too special. And I think his damage slowly increases over time, but it's nothing you can't really handle. There we go. Ah, 
Impossible. I can't. Won't accept this. Okay. So loser much. Girl. No funny business. You're coming with us. There we go. So we won. Ladies and gentlemen, I did it. After a furious battle, the undefeated Fang Blade has fallen. What a shocking turn of events. I won. And now it's time for the final event. Huh? Um, didn't SPDF just defeat the champion? I only said that Fang Blade was a four-time tournament champion earlier. But he's not the current one. Wait, then. In fact, the previous champion isn't even here today. Then who? There we go. The both... Tournament finalists have been decided. The winner of the West Bracket, the favorite pirate hero who saved the day countless of times. Let's play DF. And the winner of the East Bracket, a newcomer, clan the strongest gap I've ever seen. Oh. The rookie contender, Faust. Okay, looks like a uh, working business attire. Well then, shall we begin? Let's go. Okay, so you can't really... Uh, do much like no uh he he will fall after a certain period of time you can't really kill kill him oh 155 bonus okay never mind i guess shielding doesn't work oh he can stun me as well damn it face shift bonus to hit huh Best one leash. Okay, uh, I'm going to do the leash trick here. So let's stun him. Don't want him unleashing, unleashing on us. Okay, let's do some attackers. Does he still have his face shift? No, he doesn't. He should be good. Nice. Okay, luckily we managed to get that going. So let's do shield. Yep, okay, so every time you shield, he gets the face shift thingy, unless you stun him before that. Right. Yeah, we are resisting the sun well, luckily. Okay, he should be dying. Oh, yeah, there we go. Easy. As much as I love to stay and chat, <coughs> it seems we have to finish this some other time. You there, the announcer. Yes, I concede defeat. What's going on? Is he serious? I paid 500 gold for this? Wait. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure how to say this. It appears as though the challenger has well considered his shot at the title. Therefore, it seems we have a winner. May I present to you your new tournament champion? Let's play DF. Woo! And there we go. King Eltia, by the Avatars, it really is you. Your Majesty, I've never seen such a battle before. Amazing, truly amazing. We have much to talk about. Come, come. At long last. Uh, okay, what evil soldiers doing here? What's the meaning of this? For your safety, Lord Cantus has insisted that you not follow through with meeting the tournament champion. It could pose risk. That's preposterous. I trust the PDF in my life. No, it's okay. Then how about this? For winning the Tournament of Champions today, I, with the full royal authority of Sword Haven, declare you to be a champion among champions, and with that authority, I extend to you an invitation to our royal ball in a few weeks' time. This is a royal decree. You don't have any problem with that, do you? No, your majesty. Good. It seems we must part ways once again. Yeah. But do not fret. I look forward to seeing you at the gala. Oh, and do try to wear something formal, will you? Felwyn, are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Congratulations on winning the tournament. Thanks, I think. I'm not sure who that last contestant was, but... Well, anyway, I'm here to give you that message. Actually, I have two messages here for you. Oh, then go ahead. Okay, so the first letter is from the Lionhearted Mage Knight. Lionhearted, you mean Sir Lee. Shh. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm here to tell you that they've made an important discovery and they'd like to meet with you as soon as you can. Hmm, alright. And the second letter? The other one is from... Um, how do you pronounce this? Artix von Krieger? A letter from Artix? Keep it down. <laughs> yeah, right, my bad. Anyways, it's postmarked from the Doomwood region. Greetings and salutations. Wow, he sure writes fancy. Hmm, it says here that he's sorry for not being able to assist you more. He'll also like you to visit him when you get a chance. 
I wonder what for. And he's included some directions. Wow, that sounds interesting. That's certainly mysterious. And well, that's about it. And um, if you ever want to maybe train together, Mr. Dragonblade in Falcon Reach knows where to find me. Got it. Thanks, Felwyn. I have to go now, but I wish you luck on your journeys. I uh, I hope we meet again. Hmm, first the king and now this. Why now, I wonder? And who exactly was that? Okay, so let's see what we have here. The tournament weapons are uh, not best installed for anything, so we can pass those. Level 80 dragon amulet, so let's pass that up. Alright, so now that we are done with that, what is the next part in the storyline? Let's take a look here. The Tournament of Champions is... Uh, the Gala. Okay, back to Sulan Eska, I guess. With a victory in the Tournament of Champions, King Eltion has invited you to the Royal Gala. You return to Sulan Eska to debrief Kara on your findings and prepare to attend the Gala. Parties and schmoozing awaits. Head to Sulan Eska. Let's go talk to Kara. Uh... I hope you're ready to do... Wait, these are past quests, right? Let's complete the Star Cross quest first. Okay. Quests, yeah, okay, here. I think those quests are uh, from Rita. I think those were outdated. I'm not sure if they were updated or not, but yeah, we go back to Kara, my spot. Okay, let's see what this quest brings us. I think we're just going to give her a quick debrief. Should just be a cutscene quest, I think. Let's see. You know, I don't know why it is exactly, but something is always drawing me back to this cliff. It's hard to explain. It's like, this is my cliff, you know? It all started here. It keeps starting here for some reason. Do you know how I met you here? Cool. Well, as an egg, but still. Is this an episode of how I met your mother? How I met your pet dragon? <laughs> and I thought here too. Tell you what, if it wasn't already my cliff, I will make it my cliff. Speaking of which, book 3 is coming to an end soon, so I wonder if we'll start book 4 on this same cliff again. Granted, we didn't start uh, book 2 on this cliff, but I wonder, will we start book 4 on this cliff? Guys, what do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. But how? Bring a chair next time? That's, that's a perfect idea, Draco. I know you're just stalling. Sigh. Fine, I'm going. But I'll be back, Cliff. With a chair. <laughs> it has been far too long. How have you been? And Draco, it is an honor to finally meet you, little one. I like her. She understands my social standing. Wait, this isn't the first time we've met. Hold on. Oh, I think this part hasn't been updated. Okay, so though Verly, maybe you're watching this. I don't think this is the first time Kara met Draco, especially with the revamp to the Quests. Right, it's been a mixed bag. So I've heard. How are you feeling? You realize I'm always here to listen to your confidences, don't you? Thanks, Kara. I'm fine. And you? I'm also fine. Yeah, it's the well, it's the weather. I bet. Soft laughter. The mission to Espina Rosa was a success. I, I was told. It was indeed. This Elrin, he told me something about Cantus. Oh yeah, they haven't changed all of this yet. There's still Elrin, which I don't think we meet Elrin in the new series of quests, right? He told me that he lies to everyone, especially to Jania. So my suspicions are confirmed. It's rather obvious if one thinks about it, but now we know for sure. Thank you for telling me this. I, I've spoken with Jania. Has anyone told you that? No, but I've spoken with her too. Wait, how did she speak to Jania? I see. Let's begin. She's evil, misguided. That's certainly one naive way to put it. What she is doing is wrong, yes, and we'll stop her. But why and what do you think this entire group exists for? To stop the rose, we cannot stoop to the level of the likes of Acanthus and the ones that work under him and return the same. We cannot repeat the mistakes of the past. There must be a measure of compassion. Yes, let's destroy the rose with our compassion. Sigh. Is there anything else? If there are no pressing matters that require your insight right now, then you should enjoy your free time. Right, because I have free time. I've been invited to a royal gala by King Eltion himself. Great Gales. This is a wonderful opportunity. I know. When is it happening? In a few days, I think. I'm too cool to keep a schedule. Then we have absolutely no time to waste. Severa. Yes, Lady Kara. Please take Les PDF's measurements at once. 
Is this necessary? Of course. You categori categorically cannot appear in what you are wearing right now, especially at the Royal Gala. Okay, what's wrong with my pirate outfit? Everything. The gala will be a delicately scripted event where diplomacy and court etiquette are paramount. By an audience with the king himself. Oh, this is something I would never be allowed to do. Not with the rose present. I need to prepare an extended list of questions you absolutely must ask him. You're taking this very seriously. You have the king's ear at your disposition. He has the power to do something about the rose. And even if it doesn't work out, you'll at least plant the seeds of doubt in his mind, which may grow into a tree of distrust. That sounds a little extreme. It's an idiom. This trust for the rose. The king will make a powerful ally who can help us without the use of violence. If it fails, then as a last resort, I'm done. You are broader than I expected. Hey, let's get to work then. Wait just a minute. What if something goes wrong? At the gala, I mean. Why would something go wrong? Everything always does, Karai. Always does. It's a tradition at this point. I can't fight in fancy dress. I can do magic, but I can't make magical clothes. And, when, and I don't know anyone who is able to conceal your pirate gear under an evening gown. There is not a craft the wind or the wind elves have. We might just have to do it this my way. I might know someone who can do this, but he'll not be happy. Then let me come with you. Okay, who? Wallet? Who is this? How do we start off in Falcon Reach? Okay, I guess we made the way back to Falcon Reach. And why do we have to fight Rose Soldiers along the way? Don't they know that we were the recent winners of the tournament? Hello? Root much? Fighting the tournament champion? They really don't know what's good for them, huh? Oh god, I wish I had my dragon. 98. Ooh, this hits hard. <coughs> Excuse me. Hope there aren't any tough fights. Not that way. Head towards the lake. Oh, okay. Huh. And of course, more wild animals that we have to beat up along the way. Good to know. Okay, we should. Nice. Because of the crit. Secret cave ahead. Uh. Wait, what? Always finds a time for themselves. Why would we go to a cave? Why does this suddenly have so much health? The heck? It started at like 198, right? And then it suddenly jumped to 691. I think it was the scaling. Okay, they don't do a lot of damage, but yeah, that's gonna be annoying to fight. No crit? Come on. Okay, at least you can quick shot. I think quick shot should kill him, especially if the... Yep, with the minus all debuff should be enough. What do we have here? Okay, I'm gonna try going this way and avoid that guy. Let's see if we can avoid this spider. We can. Wrong way? Where are we supposed to go or who are we even supposed to meet? That's what I'm confused about. Can you avoid this guy as well? No. Yeah, what are we supposed to do? I don't understand. Who do we find inside a cave that can hide your battle gear under nice clothes? Hmm. Oh. Okay, they made you fight this guy anyway, even though you're clearly running the opposite path. Oh well. Nice. Uh, we'll go left. One shot. Quick, come on. Ah, 17 HP. Now you crit. Okay. Oh, okay. Who is hiding in this magical place? Is this someone we know or... And now I'm very curious. Okay, three of them now. Oh god, 641. Okay, I'm going to do quick shot, then locker, and then quick shot again. That should take them all out. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Very nice. Blocker. No crit. Come on. Still not there yet. Come on. How many more do I have to fight? Crit, crit, crit. Come on, let's go. No. 111 god damn these guys hit hard okay what do we have here now okay now what okay so it's not in a cave the cave is a shortcut i guess phew first time literally riding on a gust of wind i knew of this land but these winds they're so full of magic and yet so hostile this there is a burden in them so heavy they can't bear it it's, it's so sad. We'll be alright, Kara. I'll be fine. Let's be on our way. Uh oh. Wait, who is this? Hold on a minute. Danielle, and I sincerely hope you all are ready for our finals this week. I'd like to remind you that not only will Beltale and I be judging you, but also Oiva and her soul smith. Ooh. Our first like uh interaction with the what do you call it? The shapeless and the the soul weavers. Yeah, I wanted to try something new. The stakes are high this year, so don't disappoint me, students. But who am I kidding? You all will do just fine. I'm so proud of your comp, headmaster. Then now, yes, I'm just finishing here. Ah, uh, pardon me. There's something, someone waiting for you in your office. Very well, thank you. Good luck, students. Who knows? I might call some of you master soul weavers soon. Oh, this is Idelia, isn't it? Please excuse me for making you wait, I was just... Oh, hello Danielle. Pleased to meet you, Headmaster. I assume you need something from me? This, this was a bad idea. Kara, let's go. What's wrong? Let's play the I, I am past blaming you. There's no need for whatever this is. If you have a request, I'll fulfill it. Thank you. Well, it looks like I wasn't either after all. You are an elf, correct? Indeed I am. Kara Sulema from the Wind Elf Kin. Are elves scarce here? Yeah, I have never seen one in my own eyes until now. If that's what you're asking, I've mostly seen illustrations of your people. But I've heard rumors of elves in Vulcan Ren. Anyhow, sorry for the small talk. You're obviously here for a reason. Are you able to weave clothes that can conceal armor or an outfit underneath? Certainly. As PDF is engraved near of clothes that are fit for a royal event, I have his measurements already with me. Prepare in advance, I don't need them. But I appreciate the effort. So woven clothes are always a perfect fit. Now let me take a closer look at you. Hmm. Yes, I believe I have some designs in mind that will be adequate. Weaving will take time and I prefer to work alone without anyone looking over my shoulder. You may go. Tell me where the clothes should be delivered and I will make sure you get them. I might as well deliver them myself. I haven't been over there in a long time. My deepest thanks, Danielle. It was a pleasure to meet such a talented friend. Likewise. Uh, looks like we have past history with Danielle, which unfortunately I can't really remember what. But I think as part of the main story, we don't really interact with him, right? Did we interact with him during Book 1 Tomic Saga? I don't think so, right? We actually brought a chair with you. What can I say? I'm a hero of my word. I will be... It will be my getaway spot. My thinking cliff. My... Uh, okay, running, running, running. Someone is there. Oh! Graveland's daughter! Wait, no, not... <laughs> Sapoucha's daughter! Excuse me, you're in my spot. The kid... This kid is in your spot. Yeah, exactly! Get out of the way, kid. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel. If you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Carbine Gaming. Peace out. <laughs>